What is up guys, The Real Damon Jackson here, and uh, today I was going to show you the difference between this, which is um, the glass I bought myself, it's, uh, oops, it's uranium glass, oh my gosh, I'm looking at the camera, but uh, as you can see, yeah, in a previous video I looked at these and it is slightly green, so you know it's uranium glass, but uh, and that is like uh, depression glass. Now the difference between, well, technically they're the same thing, uranium glass and depression glass. But that is actually from the depression era. And they used to make it with a lot more uranium and it's very clearly noticeable. And it also is a very darker green and it looks beautiful. My grandma let me, uh, lent it to me. So I'm going to look at it with my Geiger counter and show you guys the difference between the two. So this has about 2-3% to uranium. That is unknown, but I'm guessing 18-25% um, to 25% uranium. Because look, look at that deep green. I mean, come on guys. So basically, I'm going to place my camera right here at my Geiger counter. And uh, if I take these marbles, I'm going to take them... A lot of the wrapping. If I put them in my hand, and I see, I modified my Geiger counter so the Geiger tube is exposed, so it's way more sensitive. If I put it over it, can't tell, but I'm I'm holding the glass near the tube. Basically, uh, it just goes over 50. That's that's pretty much it. Well, might get maybe 100. Maybe 100. I wouldn't even give it 100. I don't know. Okay, so you know, you know the rate at which it's climbing. Um, okay, I just gotta make sure this... This uranium glass doesn't roll because it's 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 a marble. So hold on a sec. All right, now we have a look at um, the actual real depression glass, and you should notice a gigantic difference. Watch this. Look at that. Hot stuff. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's clearly authentic, authentic uh, old timey uranium glass because this gets about. See, it's already at a hundred that fast. Let's let's see. I don't know. Let's see, if I put it in there. So I put my Geiger counter inside of it. It's probably going to get biased readings because, it's, you know, the radiation is coming from all different sides and just penetrating all over the place. Because there's probably bit, um, a little bit of gamma in there, too. So I'll just leave it in there for a couple minutes. Okay, so I know that's not the way to go because of the biased readings, but when I pull it out... Yeah, it's almost... It's almost 300 already. So, yeah, it's... Now, I'm sure I could do some kind of math to figure out uh, the difference between the two glasses um, in uranium by weight somehow uh, by the decay and everything but my friends all know me and they know I don't like math so I don't know I'm gonna have to find somebody who's good at math to do that for me I'll, or I'll try it myself and get some horrible answer Listen to that click. So yeah, um, those are the two different glasses. Now I'm going to show you some, what they look like under black light. It's very beautiful. So I'm going to grab my black Alright, so <laughs> it looks awesome. 
stick my hand in it. And you can see it's, it's really bright because you can barely see my hand in there. I'll get it closer to the... Look at that. I don't think I don't think my camera does it justice. Nice. So yeah, this is this is new uranium glass versus old uranium glass. Watch, like, comment, and subscribe. Also, um because of the YouTube algorithms, subscribing doesn't do much. Right now, there's some glitches going on with it. So I, if you want to see my videos definitely, I would suggest um, also hitting the bell. Please. And have a great day. See ya.